hungry for a real Highland treat out there in TV land? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, well, just mm -hmm. point the remote at yourself, Woody, and follow me into Butter Scotchy Land. <laughs> Monday night's munchies. <laughs> Tuesday night's temptation. Wednesday night. <laughs> it's Thursday night and I'm all out of butter, scotchy finger pies. What'll I do? <laughs> oh, man. Come to Woody. Welcome to Cash and Dash. He is Nash. He is Lash. And, and that's, that's no, no trash. trash. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm Woody. Ring me up. Heck, that don't rhyme. Uh, I is uh, forgot my money. This is Nash and Lash's cash and dash. Not BB's freebies. Not Barry and Larry's take whatever you can carry. Not everything you see here is yours just because you wanted it to heck with anybody else, mister. Lash? Yeah, Nash? That didn't rhyme. Coffee's backing up. Hallelujah. Ha-cha-cha. I can practically taste those butterscotchy finger pies already. Hello, Woody. Ah, the sweet sound of my money. What is your pin number? Oh, keep it up and you're gonna get the old one, two, three. One, two, three is incorrect. Wait, that's not my number. Your card is being voided. I'm afraid I can't do that, Woody. Scotty finger pie.
luck, Wally. I gotta have this butterscotchy finger pie. I'll give you five, ten, twenty dollars for it. This one is mine. Got it? Yeah, okie dokie, sure. Crazy woodpecker. Butterscotchy finger pie, here I come. Drink. I need a drink.
about the free fish. Uh, Thanks for the free grub, bub. What you gonna eat tomorrow, sunny boy? I'll come back here for the free fish, same as today. Oh, sorry. Offer's only good one to a customer. Besides, I got a philosophy about fishing. I give you one fish and you eat for a day. But I teach you the fish and you can eat every day for the rest of your life. 25 bucks a lesson. Ah, uh, why would I pay someone to teach me how to put a worm on a hook and snooze in a rowboat? Oh, an expert, eh? Why didn't you say so? Well, since you know all there is to know, I won't charge you a penny. But you catch old Lefty the Trout, biggest, smartest fish in these here waters, so I can hang him in my shop to do all business. And you can eat free at my stand whenever you like. Free food forever? Just for catching a stupid fish? Oh boy, you're on, bub. <sighs> I'll catch a few Z's, catch Lefty the Lunker, then head back to the bait shop to catch my free dinner. I'm telling you, Al, we gotta swim upstream together sometime. I know all the best spots around. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen, I gotta go. Some hotshot's trying to make a name for himself. Yep, it's always the same, isn't it? Thinking they got what it takes to catch old Lefty the Big Trout. Ciao. Let's do lunch sometime. Let's see. Ten-letter word for sucker. Woodpecker. <laughs> a sucker is a woodpecker. Hey, what's the big idea? 
time, use something other than worms. I get a big appetite sport. <laughs> There's no fish that can outsmart a woodpecker on a mission. stuff and mount you over my mantelpiece down below. That does it. No fish lip wise guys gonna... Hey, mayflies are a trout's favorite food. And that free fish fry at the bait shop is a woodpecker's favorite food. Yep, sometimes it takes a big bug to catch an even bigger bug. Mayflies, my favorite. Whoa! Can't get up, you overgrown minnow. Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah! <laughs> so long. See you next fishing season. I can't. Hey, what gives? Now that you know I'm not the big lunker you want to hang on the wall, you can let me go. Forget it. I got a date with free dinner for life. Oh, so sorry. This isn't the legendary lefty. Oh, no. No free meals for you, Woodbecker. What? I swear, it's your trout. Told you, sport. Now you're going to let me go? No how, no way. I want that free meal, and you're gonna get it for me. Got it? <laughs> Bucky, we gotta talk. Hi! Is it true there's a monster-sized trout in this lake? Monster trout are minnows compared to what I've caught. Why, just the other day, I caught... Yeah, so I got this great new gig. Oops, gotta go, Al. I'm getting a call on my other line. And to this day, no one's ever caught a bigger trap. Stick right up. Give me hooks! I need plenty of bait! Hold a bigger net! is a mess. Sure is hard work being lazy. I need a new life. Chickens? Farm? What's going on down there? Mmm, nothing to do but relax. All the food you can eat? That's it. I'll be a professional chicken. <laughs> Oh my gosh! 
Hush! What are you doing away from your nest? Never you worry. Mama will get you back so you can lay some nice fresh eggs. Lay eggs? Now what would I want to do that for? So you can make your quota. Quota? Yes, and once you've made your quota, you get your reward. Now get to work! Reward? Oh boy, that's for me. Now where can a fella lay his hands on some eggs around here? So, stealing eggs, eh? Why, I'm gonna... Find it! She's it! She's it! She's it! She's it! What's going on? Well, a chicken has laid a million eggs. She is taken away to the door, where she enters into joy and eternal leisure. Joy? Eternal leisure? Anyways, as I was saying... Okay, okay, break it up, break it up! Get back to work, you lazy bums! <laughs> hey, where are all your eggs? Why aren't you meeting your quota? Uh, uh, because, uh... Because I'm too hungry to lay eggs. Of course! Why didn't I think of that? What's cooking, Chief? You got some hungry wood... I mean chickens down here. Gravel and quartz. Good for a chicken's gizzard. What's this handle for, Chief? Pull it to get your meal. Oh. 
Oh, oh. Here's this week's profits, boss. How are the chickens doing today? Woody! Woody! For he's a jolly good chicken. For he's a jolly good chicken. For he's a jolly good chicken. <laughs> Beaver board? Beaver? Again. Want some more wood? Beavers sure are busy, little fellows. Beavers are.
As head headhunter of this here operation, I live by the headhunter's motto. If you want them, we'll get them. Required immediately. One penguin for placement in beautiful tropical Montezuma Zoo. Beg money to find her. Mm-hmm. Bingo. It's a penguin, all right. Mush! Start the sled! Start the sled! I got him! I always get my man. What are you stopping for, pup? Mighty large pair of underwear for such a little feller. Ah, this'll stick him. <laughs> no, no, there are laws against this kind of thing, you know. Skunk. Just add water. <laughs> This'll skunk him out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, I'll be. Isn't that thoughtful? Mmm, lapso apso oolong. My favorite. A little cream and lots of sugar. Mmm. Hey! I'm trying to sleep in here. I'm out of here. Look, kid, cut me some slack, will you? This is the offer of a lifetime. All I want is to take you to this tropical paradise. It's all expenses paid and tax deductible, plus all the fish you can eat. All right, all right, you can drive. Now, will you go with me? <laughs> What a workout. Woohoo! The headhunters are finally here. We got the tank all ready. It's set to sub 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 zero temperature and comes with its own iceberg for the penguin. So, which one is the penguin? <laughs> No, it's, it's, it's... To quote my great-granddaddy when he was taken into captivity... Send me and Tweaky to jail. Besides, in which we never took that lady's jewelry, Your Honor. The jewels jumped from her foresafe into our hands as we was taking a moonlight stroll past her mansion. Order, order in my court. Because of your obvious theatrical and storytelling talents, I am sentencing you both to do community service. You'll stage a play at the Youth Center. And if you don't put on a good show, it'll be a thousand years hard labor. Wiki, we're gonna get society to pay us while we pay our debt to society. Auditions today. Five bucks. Oh, we want a trial for your play, mister, but we don't have any bucks. Then scram. But, boss, we don't have any other actors. And you know what the judge said. I know. I know what the judge said. All right, let's see. I'm putting on a kid's show here. It's, uh, it's called Peter Pan. Tweaky and me wrote it ourselves. You didn't write Peter Pan? Yeah, we saw that show here last month. Oh, <laughs> did I say Peter Pan? No, 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 no. I said Peter Pan Handler. Yeah, that's my play, Peter Pan Handler. <laughs> You're hired. Yay, we won't let you down. Where's the stage? Where's my dressing room? Boss, you just broke the first rule of the theater. What, never act with kids or animals? Never act with kids who are animals. Oh, we're sincerely doomed. Ah, snap out of it, Tweaky. There ain't nothing to produce in a kid's show. I'm gonna mount a production the likes of which this community ain't never seen. Or my name ain't Broadway Buzz Buzzard. These guys are strictly B-list. And they're gonna stink up this town. Unless we take matters into our own hands. <laughs> Act 9, scene 47 of Peter Panhandler. 
the Buzz and Twiggy story. This scene shows how me and Tweaky once had to bilk a sweet old lady out of a family heirloom jewels just to eat. Feel it, people. Feel it. Cue Splinter and Nuthead. Ha ha! Yo ho ho! What do you two think you're doing? There ain't no pirates in my life story. But the judge loves pirates. Yeah, everyone loves pirates. You gotta have pirates. Oh, the pain. That's what's wrong with Broadway today. There's too much catering to the public's whims. Well, not in my show. No dancing pirates, no singing cats. Oh, pfft. This is art. Juice, splinter and not head. Super woodpeckers to the rescue! Let's save him, Speedy Splinter! Roger Ramco, nimble knothead! Cut, cut, cut! There ain't no flying woodpecker scene! Who's directing this show, you or me? Don't answer that! Now you play me, and you play Tweaky! No pirates, no flying woodpeckers! This is drama! Play the scenes of my life so the audience can feel my pain. I feel his pain. Do you feel his pain? Oh, yeah. I definitely feel his pain. <laughs> the theater's full, boss. You know what'll happen if they hate our play, Tweaky? What come midnight, we'll be slow dancing on sea block with a gorilla named Bubba. No! We'll never get to Broadway! There's only one solution. In tonight's performance, the parts of Buzz Buzzard and Tweaky Delacky will be played by, uh, themselves. You two gotta play all the other parts. Come on, Tweaky, it's showtime. <laughs> Peter Pan Handler, the Buzz and Tweaky story. As a baby buzzard, I was abandoned on the doorstep of two gentle... Pirates! Oh, pirates! Oh, 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 oh. Pirates! It's the most spectacular show I've ever seen. Okay, okay. Take us away, Judge. Not a chance, Buzz. You're a hit. We want you to direct the next show here, Director Buzz. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll do Death of a Salesman. And we'll play the evil space aliens. Well, of course. Hey, wait a minute. There ain't no evil space aliens in Death of a Salesman. Ah! Out of my way, boss! Oh, help me, Tweaky! <laughs> Go right to the bank, pay it, and come right back. Remember, if you lose that money, we lose our home. Trust me, Turtle Dove. <laughs> Hey, Bob, like to buy a genuine fox fur? Uh, no thanks. I have to pay the mortgage. 
Nice if I had a hot diamond, Dad. Make some girl happy? A little gem money maker? Only ten bucks. An opportunity to go in business for yourself. Uh, hey, Bob, you want to buy a dog? Huh? Uh, I just asked you, you know, uh, you want to buy a dog? You talk? You're a talking dog. That's right, Mac. You hide absolute right. This dog will make you rich, Dad. Look, original threads. Feel that upholstery. And here's the pink slip. But if he's a talking dog, well, why do you want to sell him? Well, pal, uh, he talks too much. Maggie. Oh, Maggie. Hello, dear. Did you pay the mortgage? Uh, uh, not quite, dear. I bought a dog. A dog? Yes, a talking dog. A talking dog? Uh-huh. He's wonderful. He'll make us rich and famous. Oh, sure. I suppose he has a pedigree a mile long. And he's tidy, well-mannered, and he just loves to play games. Besides all this, he talks. Well, I think he's a mangy old cur. All right, if you're a talking dog, say something. Bow, wow. A talking dog. Now get out and don't come back without our money. And take your flea-bitten friend with you. Pardon me, sir. Could you use a dog that... No dog acts! But you don't understand. My dog is a... If you'll only let me explain. But this dog is different. He... I, are you hurt, Mac? A talking dog! Have a cigar, partner. Sit down. Have a drink. We're gonna be famous, pal! Tonight, we can pay off the mortgage and have plenty left. Yes, dear. Next week, Las Vegas. Good night. You disagreeable wench.
I'm just trying to pay my rent. What? This is written in purple ink. I know, I know, but it's the only color I could find. Honest, Miss Meanie. The rent check is to be written in black ink. Yeah, yeah, black, blue, purple. What's the big deal? The big deal is I finally had it with you. This time you're out for good. If I can just borrow a black pen out. I told you you're finished, Woodpecker. So, I've gone and rented the tree house. To him. I'm Nicky Nicknacker. Pleased to make your acquaintance. I'm ready to sign your lease, dear lady. If only you behave more like this sweet debonair fellow, you might still be my tenant. But since you are nowhere near as cultured and refined, you're out of here. O-U-T! Do you hear me? Out! Dear Meanie, now that the lease is signed, could you possibly see your way clear to lend me a mere morsel of food to tide me over until I'm settled in? Anything. What would you like? Oh, heavens. Just some soup, perhaps? One soupy doopy for my Nicky Wicky. And oh, I don't know, perhaps an egg? There we go! You know, it occurs to me, I could use a couple of ten, a hundred, uh, I mean thousand dollars. Yes, ten thousand would spot me nicely until the banks open on Monday. Oh, ten thousand? <laughs> Pshaw, what's a little <laughs> cash among friends? If you're thinking of coming up to my treehouse, would you do me the honor of phoning first? <laughs> Check it out, this biddy has some mighty cool stuff. The last one she'll ever suspect is little old me. <laughs> Mr. Knockwurst is a creep and a crook. Here's where I get my house back. Hey, what do you think you... I mean, why are you trespassing in my tree height? You can drop the bad British accent, bub. I'm way ahead of you. Miss Meanie will have to believe me when I return her... <laughs> you ain't spoiling this for me. <laughs> Miss Meanie, I forewarned you that the cat was stealing from you. No! It was him! Him, Miss Meanie! That's the last straw. <laughs> I love the way you handled the riffraff, Miss Meanie. Meanie to throw socialite party for Nixon Nicknacker. Hmm. I bet old Nicky will be up to his tricks at a wingding like this. <laughs> Meanie might not let me back on her property, but like I always say, one good imposter deserves another. And then I said. So I said to the queen, it's a toilet brush, not a toothbrush. <laughs> Let's see what that freeloading treehouse wrecker's up to now. Gotcha. Spinach souffle bites, my sweet. <laughs> Nicky boy. Yeehaw! I've been wondering where my nephew Nicky was at. I'm Nicky's Uncle Knuckles of the Knoxville Neckmakers. You're not my Uncle Knuckles, you're an imposter. Huh? Nicky, what's come over you? <laughs> I mean, this is preposterous. I don't have an Uncle Knuckles, Miss Mooney. Ah, uh, he's always pretending we ain't kin. Yuck, 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 yuck. That's our little game, right, Sticky Nicky? Sticky Nicky? Sure, he got that nickname because everything he puts his hands on sticks to him. <laughs> Is 
Is this the old bitty you told me you got wrapped around your feather tips? What? <laughs> I tell you, dear lady, I've never seen this imposter in my life. Say, you got the time bub? Uh, I need to help you. Uh, you and Yessie Yames. They've been robbed. Oh, shucks. That's too bad. But you know what we neckbackers do when bad times hit? We square dance. Alan and left, Alan and left, promenade. That's my pocket watch. And my brooch. <laughs> Woodpecker! It was you? How clever! <laughs> How could I ever thank you? Well, since you've been in such a generous mood lately, here's a short list of extras I think you could provide me at no additional rent. What? Oh, <laughs> no, you don't, Woodpecker! <laughs> you won't take advantage of my hospitality! You freeloading sponge bird! You walking moose wagon! Get back here! <laughs> <laughs>